everyone, so this is going to be my June favorites video. I'm going to be talking about some intangible things such as music and a bunch of makeup. So let's jump right into it. So I'm going to start with the uh, intangible things first. Um, the first thing is just my favorite album of this month has been um, Charmer by Tiger's Jaw. As you can see, I had it open in my Spotify. And um, it's just really good. It features um, the first like actual release of my favorite Tiger's Jaw song, Distress Signal. And um, it made me some new favorites actually as well. And uh, I just really like that album. I think it's got a great vibe to it and it really helped me fall in love with Tiger's Jaw. Um, the other bands that I've been really into this month are uh, Knuckle Puck and The Front Bottoms. Um, Knuckle Puck, they're just like a, a generally pretty straightforward pop punk band. As far as the front bottoms, um, Google what their name means before I make you like them because yeah, but um, yeah I really like them. They're just very like cheery, like all their songs sound so unique and um, they sound kind of like indie I'd say, um, but I made my entire family listen to the song Au Revoir and they all think it's really cute and like I think it's really cute and it sounds so happy. And the last intangible thing um, that's not a person um, would be probably Game of Thrones. Um, I really like Game of Thrones. I thought the finale was awesome. I won't spoil anything because, um, yeah, but in the last few episodes a lot of people that I wanted to um, die <laughs> in the story died, so that was cool. And, um, yeah, there was a lot of really, like, badass fight scenes and everything, and, um, murders. <laughs> and, yeah, it's, um, I just really like that show, and if you're not into Game of Thrones, like, what are you doing? Get someone's HBO Go, make them let you use that shit, because that is literally my favorite show. Um, what's not so much my favorite, I did not like the True Blood, uh, premiere, like, whatsoever. I thought it was so cheesy. Um, I think they're beating a dead horse by even having another season, but, um, this is my favorites video, not my rant video, so, yeah. Onward to more favorites. Um, I have a few favorite channels as well, um, which would be The Tela, which I will, um, type here. And, uh, I just really like her because she's really helped me kind of, like, embrace being pale, even though I do kind of want to see how tan I can get as an experiment this summer but um yeah she's really good for like pale makeup tips um without being like goth like it's very hard to find um a pale beauty guru that doesn't have like crazy colorful looks I mean I love all that stuff like but for me usually I'm like doing a neutral look um because I'm going to school and going like out and about so um, I like that she embraces being pale without feeling like she needs to look a certain way. Um, and also, congratulations to her on her new job. And um, I love how she's like deadpan and kind of, I don't know. I, I love the fact that she doesn't smile if that makes sense and that she swears. Um, because it just helps me see that she's a real human being and she's still succeeding on YouTube without um, a fake personality. My other favorite, who has been my favorite for a while, I tried to mention her in my April favorites video and that never worked out, um, is Little T Fox. Um, she's another pale princess and um, I really like her because she um, wears glasses, as do I, and um, she's kind of helped me embrace wearing glasses. Um, and also, she's one of the main reasons why I started my channel back up and really got it going, like getting a new camera and everything. Um, so I really want to thank her, and also she commented on one of my videos the other day, and that was so nice. So thank you, Noelle. You're really nice. Noelle, Taylor, you're both awesome. So now, um, on to the part everyone likes, the actual products. The first thing is, um, the Bath & Body Works Velvet Sugar Scent as a whole. Um, this is the shower gel. It's wet. But, um, I really like it. They describe it as, um... Sweetly sumptuous blend of red velvet cream and golden plum laced with a swirl of sugared musk, pink jasmine, and wild strawberries. Too much is never enough. Did anyone else, like, get all-time low stuck in their head immediately when they just heard that? But, um, yeah, it's really nice. Um, I think it's just, it's a good, like, me smell. Like, it's an everyday 
sort of sweeter smell. Um, I tend to lean towards like the sweet ones and the florals. Um, I like all kinds of perfume, honestly. But um, yeah, I really like that one. And the packaging on all of it is so cute. Like the bottle has this lace netting deal also and, um, on the body spray. The other, um, we'll do shower products first, is this, um, this Goldwell Blondes and Highlights Conditioner. Um, I got this for really cheap at the beauty school I go to. And um, yeah, it's really nice. It's like a lavender looking... I don't know if I can open it from here. No, I can't. Um, it's a lavender looking purple shampoo to uh, remove yellowness and brassy tones in blondes. And um, I really dig this because um, when I'm not feeling like a full... You know how when you are blonde, like sometimes if you use purple shampoo every time you shower, um, your hair starts turning purple. Don't get me wrong, I'd love that, but I'm trying to see how white I can get my hair before I start coloring it things. And um, yeah, this is like nice when I want to like refresh some of the, the purpley tones. It's not... This is really good for when I want to like remove some of the yellow tones and just kind of refresh my hair um, without doing the full-on sit there with shimmer lights for five minutes thing and it's really cool. Last um, shower product I have here is this EOS shave cream. Um, this is the baby one in pomegranate raspberry. I also have a full-sized one of the vanilla but um, this one is... it smells better. But yeah, I really like this because um, it's a good like sensitive skin um, shave cream. You could use this pretty much on any part of your body and not have like an allergic reaction or anything. And um, I just really dig it. That one smells super good. And it's kind of a lotion-y texture, so um, it like stays on for the most part if you um, lean towards water, I guess. I mean, that's the thing is I never got why some shave creams don't really um, survive water, but where are you shaving? Um, this can actually be used wet or dry, and um, I tried it dry on my legs and it felt really nice, so I dig that. So now on to everyone's favorite part, um, makeup. The first thing I grabbed here is this Tarte Mascara in Gifted. My mom left the curling iron on. Okay. I think I should actually show you this because this could be useful for some people. We keep our curling iron in a napkin holder and I think that really helps it like not burn the table. I don't know, it's sweet. <laughs> but um, anyway, back to the mascara. So yeah, um, this is the deluxe size for $10. Um, and I'll just show you the brush. It's got this pretty sizable brush, um, lots of bristles and everything. And what I think is cute is the big one comes in like this wooden packaging, but they made kind of a, I'd say, mini cute version of it as well for the uh, deluxe version, and it's really adorable. And I've been wearing like, god, I've been wearing this every day since I got it. Um, it's an awesome mascara. I, it's caused me to become a mascara addict because every coat you add, you're like, oh my god, my lashes got even bigger. <laughs> and um, I just really like it because it's like it's volumizing, it's lengthening. Um, you can use multiple coats of it without it looking like too much. Um, you, they won't clump really when you use this mascara unless you use like I've used four and had it still look okay. So upwards of four, I guess, is where we're moving. And um, I really, really, really like that mascara and don't see myself switching anytime soon. The next thing is this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Raspberry Tart. And um, I just love the NYX Butter Glosses in general, but this one is like kind of a sheer plum. But um, the cool thing about it is when I put it on my lips, it just becomes like this nice blackberry pink sort of deal, I don't know, it's a strange effect, um, but it's like more lavender toned I guess, and it's really nice, and um, I don't usually like to wear just lip glosses and like no lipstick under it, but um, I really, really, really like that lip gloss, especially on its own because it kind of fades off to a nice stain. This is not a beauty product, but um, I've really been digging like flower crowns. Um, this one is from Forever 21. I, this is probably the one I wear most often. I also have some from Tilly's. They're nice too. But um, yeah, I really like them because they're like headbands and you can wear them as like a traditional headband I guess, but I just usually put them on top and then 
pull them down under my head like a sort of hippie wearing thing. I don't know. I know they're really big with like the festival season style that's uh, really popular right now. But um, yeah, I don't know if I'd wear it to a festival. I wear these like every day, but I feel like people would laugh at me if I wore them to a festival. And I already wear like skirts and dresses, so. <laughs> That's the thing about festival season looks, um, you can tell half these girls go to like EDM festivals and um, I will dress however I want for a festival but like people can judge you, it's rude, um, you just ignore it because you're having a good time and you're not hot because you wore like jeans and your makeup's not melting off because you buy good products and I don't know, have fun, that's my festival PSA. But anyway, I totally just got off topic, I really like flower crowns, um, I think they were really nice and I've been going for more of like florals and things in my everyday clothing, so I really enjoy that. It adds like a special touch when I don't feel like wearing, you know, crazy amounts of floral print and also because I have to wear a black and white uniform with colored accessories at school. The next thing, this bottle is grungy, but this is the Tarte BB Primer. This color is light um, in the deluxe sample, but you know what? You buy two of these, it's $20. The original is $34 for that same price, so if you can find um, a shade for yourself in the deluxe samples, get it. Anyway, this is like a nice sort of, um, I'm not gonna really me out. I don't know what I was doing. This is a nice um, moussey texture, sort of like the Amazonian clay foundation is. However, the um, foundation actually like makes my skin start burning. So I really like this because on low maintenance days I can just kind of spread it on my face with my fingers. Um, sometimes buff it out with a brush, but usually not. And um, it just gives like a really polished, nice effect. And also, I do get like slightly tanner in the summer and um, it matches really well with that. The last two things are lip products. Um, this first one is this MAC lipstick in Flamingo. And it's a nice bright coral color, but it is a luster so it's kind of sheer. And um, yeah, on the bottom is what it looks like if you layer it a few times. The uh, top one is just one swipe. And I've been really loving this because I never thought that I could wear coral lips um, and have it actually look good, but I can if I wear flamingo. <laughs> and um, it's really cute and it just complements my skin tone really nicely and it's a really summery nice color. The last thing is this Revlon Lip Butter and Creme Brulee. I know everyone's like over lip butters for some reason. They are having a little bit of a revival, but I use this down pretty far. Um, I used to use it like every day. It's just... I don't know, it's a really nice like nude color for my skin tone because I'm uh, that awkward shade of pale where it's like, I'm not white, like ghostly, like I can find drugstore foundations, but at the same time it's very hard to find a nude that doesn't make me look all washed out and whatever. And usually I go for the pinky ones, but this is a good skin tone one and I like to layer a NYX butter gloss over it in like some sort of pink or peachy shade. And um, it's just really cute, I don't know, I like it. <clears throat> so that was the end of my June favorites. Um, I hope you liked this video. Please like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoyed it so I know what kind of videos you are into on my channel. Um, I hope you have a great day and you deserve it because you are all beautiful. So yeah, bye!